famous among relocation people like all time but in COVID time we saw big change happening because almost thousand plus people are moving every single day in Florida and that's what not talking me I'm not telling as a realtor but it's actually you know on a Fox News I've seen in a news in a, a there are Chief Officer Jimmy Petroni, he said that thousand plus people are moving to Florida, especially from New York, New Jersey, or California, those high tech states. And that's what extra factor added for, you know, the relocation. And uh, there are so many other reasons. So that's what we are going to break down in this video, why you should move to Florida or why people are moving to Florida just in general. So let's start this video right now. and I'm a local real estate agent in Florida. If you are looking to move to Florida or in case you're thinking about Florida, then this channel will give you tons of insight about the cities, pros and cons, cost of living. And by the way, I, we walk around, me and my videographer, George, we walk around in the neighborhoods and we try to talk about the towns. So we have amazing series going on where we talk about the lifestyle of those cities. So make sure guys, you subscribe my channel and hit that like button and give some love to us. I don't have to tell you more about this beautiful beaches, stunning beaches, because Florida is famous no matter what about beaches for sure. So look at the sand. It's so nice white sand and very warm water you will find in Florida. Of course, there are a lot of states we see in the United States where you can find beach. But the main difference of this water is like it is very warm all the time all for there is no actually not four seasons so you will even come in a winter time or summer time it doesn't matter of course summer has a lot of humidity and that's what i talk about in a weather but in a beach you know if you go inside the water it doesn't matter that's why you see in the summer also so many people visiting here or even residents enjoying the beach right now i'm here in a working days like in a you know weekdays is actually tuesday so you still see so many people enjoying just taking their beach chairs and umbrellas and enjoying this beach beautiful weather and the good part in florida is you can go to east coast or west coast you have so many choices to make the ic is on the east coast and west coast you have atlantic ocean and gulf of mexico even the water quality is kind of you know you feel the difference so even though you're living in a one side of the town still you can explore easily to other side because if you see the florida's map is not too wide and that's the reason like you know both side you have a beach even in the south you go like key west is a beautiful tourist place so wherever you live in florida like um south florida central or east or west you will have a beach access pretty easy however in a center florida it's a little bit the distance are a little bit wider but east or west anywhere you live you will explore this beach and that's what i think a lot of people are moving from california because they are so used to with beach and they are so used to living in this kind of little bit of warm weather of course their weather is a little different but especially for beach they are more attracted and that's why i see a lot of californians chose florida over any other states uh, because they wanted to save money at the same time they wanted to have the lifestyle the same lifestyle what they get in a bay area or you know somewhere wherever they live in california people choose Florida just because of this beautiful weather because you have all the time amazing weather to live here it's like one of the tropical state you will find in United States and also very reasonable and that's what I'm going to I'm going to share the next fact in later in the video why it's very reasonable and uh, let's talk about more why this weather is one of the best weather so if you come here in any time of the season you have a I would say in general you're going to do something fun 
For example, in May to October, it is a rainy season, but it's a sunshine state. So today is like right now it's raining and in after 30 minutes you will see a sunshine. So it's not constantly you are stuck in the rainy season, but you do get a feel about the cloudy weather. You do feel that breeze and nice cold. It's not a cold, but I would say it's nice feel you will get. And at the same time, you have the sunshine next moment so you're not you don't have to kind of you know your lifestyle doesn't basically disturb because of that for example i lived in michigan so when it's the snowy season you are literally stuck you know in the snowy season because that's what you're it's going to be all the time in that four months or five months and it's it's a little bit i feel like a lifestyle when you live there like visiting some place and enjoying the snow and doing fun skiing winter activities it's different but when you are living there in that environment and you are experiencing this every single day, it becomes a little bit of boring. The same, like compared to that, here I feel I can do so many things. I understand many people complain about this humidity being so hot in summer. But guys, you can be in a water because of that and you will love to be in a water. And that's why I told you before, before even we started this video, the lifestyle here is laid back. So where, where do you guys live? I live in plantation. Oh, plantation. Okay. So, do you like about what do you like about Florida? Let me ask you this. Florida. I mean, the weather is really nice. Um, it's always sunny. A lot of tourists comes out here, and it's just it's like a party city. So it's right. really nice to live here. Okay. And that's the fun part because at your home, you most probably you will have your pool. Most of the houses, and that's why I'm going to tell another fact why so many people move here is having this fun things you can do even at your home. You don't have to go somewhere to enjoy. And access to the beach waters, it's so easy here. You don't have to drive hours and hours to go to the beach. Anytime, any day, you can explore and weather supports those kind of things. The best weather I feel is September to December and that's where people, whole world complains about the winter, but the Florida enjoys that part. And if you have a kid, again, the most fun part to explore in those winter time, but then you don't have the sun on your side and you are more, you, you can enjoy those like Disney parks, the Universal, so many things you can do here. So basically all time amazing weather, complementing your lifestyle, I would say. It's actually tastes really nice, especially in this hot weather. Okay, so my next point is like many people just choose the Florida state as I mean to retire because this state has so much things to offer, especially the lifestyle wise. Like you can do a lot of fun activities. If you don't want to be too crazy, you can just enjoy doing everyday fishing or just sitting on the beach and you are a little aggressive, you can do kayaking, paddle boating, scuba diving, snorkeling, and this, whatever uh, you know, activities I'm mentioning, it's not too difficult as an accessible device because wherever you live, the beach are very close, as I told you before. So a lot of beach town, even though you choose living in a suburb, but still you will have a beach access pretty close, like almost anywhere you live, 20 to 30 minutes, you can get to the beach, especially in South Florida, a lot of people choose to retire be here because here is like um, lifestyle wise pretty much open especially for senior citizens you will see even housing very nice housing for 55 plus communities golf courses so a lot of things even for senior citizens as a particular just for them activities also this South Florida offers a lot if you want more information if you want to kind of move down here down the road not today but tomorrow or next year or two years feel free to comment me below I would love to give you more information or I can I usually do the zoom calls with the clients where they need more information it doesn't you're not obliged to use my service for anything but you know it can give you more matter, better insight if you go more deeper into your questions my next point is for business people because if you want to save money or even young professionals if you want to save money then Florida is the state to go and that's why many of this particular point got more triggered especially in a COVID time because many people had the up margin like when you're spending money everyday expenses a lot of people even got a furlough in a work even 
in other way it got a motivation also as a virtual work too but however many of the people chose this state just to save some money let's say from california new york they have a very high tax uh, even not just the sales tax but also property taxes are very 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 high and here comparatively it's very affordable the state tax is zero at the same time property tax is a little bit there but still it's not that expensive than those high tax states laws here for business is very supportive for example the mayor here they, he supported so much to the local businesses you know everybody has their own opinion again even you know, especially in a pandemic time, a lot of divisions happen on opinion wise because many people wanted to keep the business open, some people wanted to close. However, somehow Florida never did the lockdown. In general, uh, not just about pandemic, but in general, Florida state supports so much to the local businesses. And the, one of the reasons not, not having the lockdown was just for the economic purpose because this is, Florida in general is a tourist town wherever you go. You go in the center of Florida, you have the Disneyland and Orlando, Tampa, those beautiful uh, cities and a lot of things to do for the kids there. If you come to South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, it's a very fun town, cosmopolitan towns. It's very good for the young professionals, for the opportunities too. So for young professionals, like do you recommend and is there any particular reasons you can give, for, especially for the young professionals, why would they love living in Florida? Um, it's a lot of opportunity, like especially here, it's a lot of opportunities. Um, for Lauderdale, you have a lot of people you can mingle with, you can social network, and you can do a lot of networking. Like for myself, I'm in the compa, um, the Haitian industry, we'll do a certain dance, it's called compa. So it's, it's who you know, who you mean, and then you can just blow up just like that yeah it's just a, it's it's also about the network like especially for the businesses and stuff yes. that's correct and if you go go further south Key West that's the, one of the very famous tourist town too so anywhere and also the west coast like Naples and Marco Island Sarasota that's also brings a lot of opportunities to the you know who, who are in a business for the tourist so in general, I feel a lot of opportunities you have. At the same time, you are saving a cost. Even real estate part, I know it's been crazy everywhere, but in Florida, still, I feel it's still on a good note. It's not, it hasn't crossed the like borders, like, you know, with the other states when I see the comparison. Experiencing beach lifestyle or luxury lifestyle, it's not difficult in Florida. So condos here going from 300,000 to millions of dollars. And also if you want to invest, then also Florida is a great market. Let's say you want to just have the vacation home. And that's why Florida has a lot of winter birds. People, you know, like buy something, just come in a winter and they rent it out in other months. The reason is affordability, like many people even don't rent out, they just keep the house as is, and, but it's the mortgage is not too, too crazy, you know, something to which the Florida offers like comparatively. So the lifestyle is very complimentary, especially comparing the numbers what Florida is offering. I'll give an example, in New York I have one client, like he showed me one of the house and the per square foot prices, oh my God, it's like 450 and there's nothing you are getting there. I'll show you in the pictures, but it's it's crazy. I, I feel like old house is 1949 something built and there is nothing house is offering at the same time you're paying so much to the value. In Florida, you can have a single family house with pool easily in a very good area below six hundred thousand dollars and this is i'm telling still in upper numbers of course the houses like if you're looking for something remodeled a little bit modern contemporary you do have to spend more money but let's say if you have budget around 700 to 800 thousand you can get a magnificent house in a very good school zone and all kind of positive things and if you're looking to buy something in a beach condos also like if you have a lower budget that 350,000 or 400,000 which also can start your journey and you can upgrade yourself to going up to even 650 or 700,000 you can have a magnificent condos i'm showing some of the examples you know as an exact number of prices which is in a market in the current market actually and that will kind of guide you like you know what 
prices you get, with what you pay and what you get. I have some other videos, specific property tours. Just try to visit those and see those videos, like, you know, what exactly I'm talking about. So my point is, Florida has a lot of varieties of the real estate. I still feel it's so much affordable and the state has to offer so much. I would say you can play around with the budget and you can still live a very affordable lifestyle in Florida. And all around in a year, you can vacation. It's not about just beach here. You will find very good even springs here so you can do kayaking if you love living in a lake or river kind of water. And nightlife is very beautiful here. So anywhere you go, you will get all these things where so close to you and very accessible. You do not have to plan your vacations. You just feel living in one of this beautiful vacation spot all the time. So me, like with my daughter, like, you know, when I have a day off, we just go to the beach and try to play around with her. So even kids has a very beautiful lifestyle, very open lifestyle to the nature. And I guess that helps the kids to, you know, reduce those TV time and the game times and video game times, you know. So those outdoor fun things, accessible to fun things, that I feel like it's very much very good for especially family with the kids. And even with the young professionals, you can have a so much like good circle, like-minded people. If you are looking to do a lot of outings, only thing I miss here is doing hiking. I mean, there are not good spots for the hiking, but in the center of Florida, there are a lot, a lot of springs which you can visit and it's like more one level hiking you can do. It's not like, you know, they, they keep their own boats and own kayaks and do that frequently. So that kind of accessibility you have if you live in a this beautiful state. Since how many years you have been living here? I'm living here, it's 10 years. 10 years? And Ten you moved down from where? Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So is this your retirement state? Am I retired? Yeah, you're retired or you just... Yeah, I've retired, but I still do. Yeah, you I still, still work. do a little Okay, work. Yeah. all right. Yeah. So it was just the decision to explore the lifestyle? Yeah, good lifestyle I got. Okay. You know. So can you, can you tell me more, like, why you made a decision to move here? Well, I've been coming to Florida since 1963. Mm -hmm. Every winter, not for the whole season, yeah, I was working naturally, and mm -hmm. just on vacation, two weeks like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Eventually, uh, I uh, come a month, then two months. Before you know it, I've retired, <laughs> and 